Welcome everyone. Uh, this beautiful morning, we are on part four on artificial intelligence for realtors, which is AI. So as we mentioned in the last few episodes, that AI is a new frontier for many agents. And I firmly believe this is the second wave of what I call, call it technology tsunami for real estate agent. And uh, if you resist this kind of changes in our marketing as um, or as business as real estate agents, soon you would be washed out. So I recommend everybody to learn and adapt and uh, grow in this changes. This is reality of our business. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can of course see uh, part one, two, and three for those of you that missed those episodes. And there are a lot of content in there. All of them are for AI and majority of them are free. So why not using it? And uh, if you need certain instru uh, instruction for them, you can watch the uh, episode or you can simply give me a call or send me an email. We can have a chat and I can help you as much as I could. And there are other episodes uh, in this regard in my YouTube channel that you can you go and um, use. This is my YouTube channel. And previously to that, I was very much concentrated in real estate investment and I invited many people, many investors all across Canada to come on um, in this webinars and they will share their success. They would tell us the secret, how they did it. Many of them, they have hundreds of homes and uh, they tell us exactly a step-by-step step how you can do it same way. So uh, Mastermind for Realtors, <laughs> just a reminder, every Monday, except if it's a holiday, Every Monday I have a role play from nine to 9.30 and that's for everybody. Just feel free to join. And uh, the mastermind on Thursday is very much technology or masterminding with other agents as well. For instance, on 14th of September, I invited um, one of the coaches to talk about production, how we can increase our production to finish 2023 successful. If you have five listings, it's going to be 10 listings. So I suggest you to come into that a mastermind as well. And the week after, I'm preparing to go with Instagram. So there are a lot of uh, learning materials that is coming one after another. Now, many agents mistakenly think this way. Uh, I'm talking about prosperity, uh, prospecting. Prospecting is the heart of our real estate business. If you don't do it, there's no sales. And there's no sales, there's no business. Many agents are running away and choosing social media or going behind the computer because simply they don't want to talk to people. And as you know, Mike Ferry also said, real estate means talking to people. That's it. As simple as this. Don't make it complicated. Now, if you are going behind the computer using the technology, to get access to people, find a way to find them and talk to them, that's great. But if you're using computer and social media AI as an excuse to hide and not doing anything, pretend that you are doing production every single day, well, you know what? That's a bad news because you're running away from people. So just what be aware of Hi, Okay, so just going through some of the uh, idea about uh, AI, we explained this one in episode one, just briefly cover that before we get to the extensions for chat uh, GPT. Uh, artificial intelligence is simply is, is in, an interactive program, it's creative, it's nothing unusual, it's been actually around for some times, but what surprises us now is the creativity uh, dimension of AIs that is coming very much to the surface and that surprises many people. Uh, it's faster, it's easier, in most of the cases it's more accurate and uh, it's creative, interactive, it opens many doors, however, it does not think for you. You cannot sit in front of computers uh, to ask AI, okay, what is the next thing I can do? 
you have to interact ask question it would ask would respond back to you so <laughs> gpt application for realtor is it would help you with your listing description if you're lacking uh, words for instance it improve your email and text uh, text for instance make the following email more persuasive and you write down the email and it would improve it for you uh, it would help you to create a, uh, a script for instance if you are writing a, an email to a client that you think is not 100 percent there it doesn't look professional uh exp uh, uh gpt would help you there idea generation of course here's a prompt what are some lead magnets idea for buyers and it would create you some ideas that would help you now by the way if you have any question along the way just raise up your hand and, uh, or ask me a question and i can answer the, your question uh chat gpt can help you with blog posting and content not only chat gpt there are other programs such as monica and i'm going to explain to that to you as well there are other um gpt's program that can help you along the way but writing a um, a uh, content or a blog post for 400 letters awards on pre-approval of the mortgage that's very easy you can always ask that question uh, hashtag key search it tells by itself you go to chat gpt and said uh, give me um, seo hashtag for my youtube video that i just posted and it is regarding real estate investment for instance i will give you the hashtags copywriting of course one of the prompt here is write five funny facebook and taglines for buyers looking to buy their own first home newsletter content that's very easy to do that uh, the prompt I put here for you is write an email newsletter about the current stats state of real estate market in Toronto that's one example TikTok and video script marketing strategies <laughs> now when you want to improve your prompt you always you can ask chat gtp to write things for you but if you add such as write a friendly email to a new first time buyer a professional casual and i used that before it's amazing no. uh, you can use adjectives such as formal strong uh, conversational playful status <laughs> I am a real estate agent being in the business for 30 days. I'm struggling with finding new leads. How can I get new leads? This is one example of it. Environment. You have to describe the environment that you are. Um, my client is a busy uh, professional person, likes to live close to the lake. Write me five advantage of moving closer to lake or disadvantage or uh, my client is a professional person, doesn't have much time in a busy schedule, and she wants something, a, a condo very close to the subway, for instance. How can I communicate with my client that entice her to, to take action? Condition that you put in your prompt could be high pressure, high traffic, busy uh, these are these are the things that can help you with your prompt identification uh script for youtube you you tell your prompt i'm right i want you to write a script for youtube or a post for linkedin or a blog so you have to be clear extra information such as make it seo friendly write a script for youtube that is seo friendly for first-time buyers. Uh, in the past, I used this author called Dan S. Kennedy, who is writing huge marketing, enticing uh, prompt. And uh, ChatGTP understand exactly what I was talking about and turn my prompt into a very similar kind of conversation Dan Kennedy could have. Your request could be write, summarize, 
analyze, describe, find me, or to get to a new building, what should I do? So you have to tell ChatGTP the kind of action you want to, it would take for you. Now, the nature of your prompt could be uh, factual. We're talking about fact and information, such as what are the pros and cons of investing in multifamily properties? It could be creative writing, such as writing a blog for you about today's real estate market, for instance. Uh, it could have the feeling of advice or decision making. What's the best way to explain my real estate network? Instructional prompt could be okay, how, to, how do I? Uh, yeah. Can I get everything? Or for open house. Hypothetical scenarios such as how would you handle a situation where a buyer backs out of uh, in the last minute of the deal? A role play. Opinion based prompt discuss the impact. <laughs> of online home listing on traditional real estate market. Technical would be break down the steps in closing process of house. Okay. All right. So the best way to use your GTP's prompt in real estate Designate a role to chat GTP. Assign one task at a time. Be specific and keep refining your prompt. So more clear you are, more you give everything to chat GTP, stronger it will work for you and get to the point. Always pro <laughs> provide the context to your prompt. Where, who, what. Break down prompt into steps. For instance, you can ask ChatGTP to create you a, pro, uh, a persona. I'm dealing with my client. She's a young professional, very busy lady. She wants to buy a house in Etobicoke for anything around 950. What is the pain for her? Okay. And then once the ChatGTP explained the pain, for instance, a busy professional person wants to be close to the subway or go train. And then you can ask chat GTP on step two, give me some solution that I can communicate with, with, with her. Number six, six ask <laughs> chat GTP how to write better prompt, improve it. Ask chat GTP to adjust the tone and reading level. For instance, you can ask, uh, tell me the five steps of selling a house as you're talking to a, a grade six student. Give ChatGTP an outline. This is the direction. This is what you want ChatGTP to do for you. Now, here we got to the most exciting part of today's uh, webinar is ChatGTP extension. I didn't know that exists, but I started discovering one after another, and that is a game changer. Are you ready? Okay, number one. You know, ChatGTP version three, which is free, doesn't cover any information past 2021. So there are different ways to do that. One of them here for you to install the extension and you can very easily install the extension for Chrome. You just search extension Chrome for ChatGTP, for instance and it will give you the list of it. So web chat GTP would allow you to search through uh, all the information that is there for 2021 and after, like to 2023. Number two, this is very effective one, is voice uh, wave or chat GTP voice control. Once you install this extension, you can actually talk to your chat GTP instead of typing things. And once ChatGTP comes with a summary or description of whatever you put in there, it will read it to you. So if you're driving, for instance, there is a long reading a summary of something that you ask ChatGTP to do for you, it can read it to you. I don't have 
patient to sit down and listen, I try to read through faster. Now, this is another amazing tool that we have as an extension called Glass. Now, if you're actively looking into YouTube, which I do a lot, it would, once you call up a, uh, a clip, a, a video, and uh, you have this in Glass installed in your system, it would summarize the content of that YouTube video for you. Now, there are keys that if you press, it would take your summarized version into ChatGTP. It transfer it there and then can elaborate on that. Or you can say based on this summary that you put all, pull out of your the, the YouTube uh, video, tell me five most important uh, steps this gentleman explained on this YouTube video that can help you to close a deal. I'm just giving you an example. But this is amazing. You can copy the content of this summary and um, you can then ask ChatGTP to, to work it out. Now, there is another one called Reader GT, GPT, and this is a web page uh, summarizing. Now, this would carry with you, walk with you through different pages. You don't need to be on uh, ChatGTP's screen. So any pages you go on the web page, it will come with you. And as soon as you click, get me a summarized um, version of this, let's say you are in a blog post and it's uh, 500 words. You don't have time to read it. It would uh, read it for you. GP, uh, sorry, GM Plus is open AI chat GTP for email. Now, this would help you to um, fix your typo and improve your language and uh, help you with your with your email. This is an amazing, another amazing tool, Engage AI. This is for those people who are using LinkedIn. And remember, social media. I want to tell you something about social media that is very interesting. I, I heard recently. Now, if you go to, let's say, TikTok or Instagram, you start searching for a car. Within 10 minutes after any posting on Instagram about car, without you ask for it, it just come up for you. So it seems that the system understand that you are looking for cars, so it will give you more. Now, the problem with real estate agents, we keep posting homes on Facebook or Instagram and expecting people to see it. Well, the only thing coming back to us that we can interact is not end users. You are all agents because agents putting homes on Instagram or TikTok. So that's what you get. And that's why instead of posting, 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 posting your home, you have to talk about your life, your experience, your philosophy, and then you get engaged. Remember, social media is about engagement. You interact with people. So if you are all about posting, posting for sell, sold, sell, sold, all you get is other agents doing the same thing. So that's your community that you're getting together. Now, if you become active and interactive with normal people, that you are not posting homes, that's where you can talk to them. And that's your target audience, not the other agents. So Engage AI is a application, is an AI application that works only for LinkedIn. And what it does, it would, any posting you see, you just move to the comment section of it, it automatically create a, a, a comment on your behalf. So you don't need to sit down and say, my God, what should I write about uh, this posting that this gentleman put on LinkedIn? So it would make your job much faster. Okay, chat, <laughs> chat GPT file uploader. This is amazing. If you install this software, you go to your chat GTP, you call up a, a five pages PDF. It would bring it in read it through within three seconds it will give you a summarized version of that five pages pdf that's a very powerful and time saver now there is another one called superpower chat gtp and 
if you are sick and tired of seeing the boring look of ChatGTP, it would simply organize it for you and would create folder. I find it very interesting to deal with that. The next one is Monica. And uh, Monica is another AI program uh, similar to ChatGTP, but it, wa it walks with you through every single pages on internet that you go. This is again another best way if you go to a page with 500 words of uh, blog posts instead of you reading it. Monica is right on the on the right side of your screen, can tell exactly what is the content of this blog post. So it would save time for you. And you can also ask other questions that you would ask normally with chat GTP. Another one is Bing uh, chat. GTP. This is from Microsoft. This is a free version of Chat GTP 4, so you don't need to pay for it. So if you go to Bing in um, Microsoft, it's, it's right there. So many people, they never discover that. So at this point, I want you to ask question if you have um, any question. Now, just remember, I come across this very often. AI would not replace agents. Agents with AI knowledge and tools can replace the agents that are resisting. Uh, they don't want to change. They don't want to learn uh, the, the new technology AI. And remember, AI is nothing but a tool. So you have to put it together. No one's going to do that for you. So that's why at the beginning of this webinar, I said, AI is not thinking for you. You have to think and you have to ask what you want. It's nothing but a tool. Now, is there more extension to ChatGTP or any other AIs that can help real estate agents? I haven't covered all of them yet, just to let you know. This is the tip of iceberg. And on this, every single day, on a daily basis, I'm surprised by, by seeing the new numbers of extensions for Chrome that is coming up that can help us with chat GTP, any other program, Canva even. So answer this question that is there any other um, extensions that is coming up? Absolutely. Hi, Ashton. Thank you for sharing. Um, this is Gloria. Um, I just want to know, let's say if I want to do a PowerPoint um, or uh, to say why Toronto is a great place to invest, is there a good one that I can use um, so that you can uh, gather my slides? Absolutely. That's a very good question. Last week, I found a program. I'm trying to find it and email that to you. Uh, send me an email. My email is right on the screen. It's deltaland123 at gmail.com. This uh, program, what you do is very simple. You write what you want. Uh, let's say whatever topic in real estate. Write it down as long as you you want. And then by a click, it would turn that script that you put on the on chat GTP. It would turn it to a PowerPoint. So it would give you the PowerPoint uh, file. So you don't need to go sit down and try to create your PowerPoint. It will do it for you in, within five seconds. So let's send me your email. I'm going to find that application. And I would be uh, more than happy to email that to you. Now, so somebody... are you oh. saying, basically, I summarize what I want to say. So for example, oh, because uh, population growth, because, uh, you know, uh, we are building very slow, whatever. And then suddenly they will just pop up the whole, whole PowerPoint. Like, Basically, we come up with this wordings, and then you will just do the uh, graphic design, or, or is it, it, would, it would design everything for you. Oh wow! Okay, it's amazing. Yeah, cool. So that that will help you. Now let me read through some of these questions. Uh, so, okay, I put the second page. Someone asked to see the second page of my presentation which I put it there. These are, again, everything I'm, I'm still doing on the, on the weekly basis. I put new information about AI. As I said, there are unbelievable number of AIs program that do amazing things. Like I sometimes see, I, 
sit in front of the computer, take a look at this AI program and say, my God, it's changing everything. Like yesterday, I discovered another program, I think called clap.app. You give a video of 10 minutes to this a YouTube video to this uh, application and would slice it in 10 pieces if you want to. And instantly you can put it to uh, your TikTok. So saving time. In the past, you had to record your YouTube video and then you have to give it to someone. So it would easily take two to three hours to slice it for you. But this smart AI program can recognize it, slice it in good pieces, is not in the middle of a conversation or subject. It would slice it in pieces and give it to you so you can put it to your TikTok or Instagram. And you're all smart. Uh, if we can install some of this program in Android, yes, I did one of them, but I am, I have fun using my laptop, but I think the, the uh, Android version of it is there. Maybe not all of them, but most of them, they are there. Can you send a link for force? Yes, I am going to send you a link. If anyone needs the link, the previous link of all the AI um, video I did, just uh, send me an email and I will be more than happy to do that. If you want me to send you anything I create new, but if you subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, automatically you're going to get this new AI's programs uh, information that uh, I put in there for you. Okay, it was a pleasure to have all of you. And uh, on 14th of September, they're going to be the next um, webinar. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.